Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. This is going to be a series of how to tutorials, how to best maximize your remarkable one or two paper tablet. First thing that I would like to cover here as a first tip is how to best organize your remarkable device, how to organize your folder structure, your documents, your notebooks and all that kind of stuff. So it's actually something that can work really well and that it makes your device accessible even when your library of documents grows, etc, etc. I have a system that I've been using for <laughs> decades and it's proven to be quite good for me at least. So I wanted to share this. As a result, you will end up with a very, very nicely organized device. And not only that, but you will have a much easier time to find exactly what you're looking for, especially while the device is kind of lacking some of the features. So for example, you can search your notes uh, using words and things like that. So you have to think a, bit, a little bit about it, these things ahead of time. So here's basically what I uh, like to do and how I like to organize things. This is my home screen and I just wish that I could get rid of the quick sheets. I really don't understand why we can't still just hide it or delete it, but whatever. Let's pretend that it doesn't exist. So you'll see that I have a couple of folders here, major categories. I have one dot notebooks, two dot documents, and then I have other. First thing that I would like to mention is the naming conventions for your folders. The one dot notebooks and two dot documents is a really cool thing to actually use when you use sort by alphabetical to actually order documents in the order that is important to you. So for example, for me, notebooks are more important than the documents. So I'm going to put them as the number one and then number two documents and then other. Similarly, it's quite easy to actually just add more folders. So I could add an, um, another one, which would be called, let's say, uh, for example, three dot read on remarkable, for example, right? And then I can click on create and it's automatically placed exactly where I want it to be. I think this is a little bit better when I sort it into the list view. So this is a really, really practical way of organizing things and making it future proof because it's easy to expand and it doesn't really disrupt anything. Because if it was just pure alph alphabetical, then you would always kind of go like, oh, where's this one? Where's that one? Or you can add another folder and it disrupts your routine. This way, nothing gets disrupted. Everything stays where it was and you're simply inserting things uh, on top. That's my number one thing that I always use as a rule, the naming convention of my folders. Now the next thing that I do is that within each category of folders, so for example notebooks, if I go in there, I'm again keeping the same one, two, three, four rule, but now I'm uh, organizing it into subfolders or subcategories. So now I'm in my notebooks, but I can choose do I want to go into uh, notebooks that are related to my company, which is called the Dwarf Cavern. And then within, within that one, I again have the same type of uh, categorization where it's accounting projects, numerous different projects or other. And you'll notice that I always have the other folder in my folder structure simply to have some something where I can place other stuff in there. The most important thing here for me at least is the consistency. So no matter where you actually go and how you navigate, it's the same type of organization thing that uh, is present everywhere. So the same thing applies for the documents as well. So if I go into documents, I have my books, user manuals, technical documents, presentations, legal, etc, etc. Then if I go into user documents, I have further subcategorization. Well, this one just wanted to uh, leave it like this so you can see see how it can be organized better. Let's say that maybe I want my synthesizers to be uh, number one. Now this is one thing that's, uh, I wish the keyboard had like a arrow so that I could simply select and then navigate my cursor, but all right. So maybe I want my e-ink devices to be the second uh, folder listed in the categorization here and software to be number three three. So let's tie a tap here, three dot space and save. And if I just go here and go back into user manuals, it will refresh. And now even though uh, synthesizers and software both start on letter S, 
I am able to organize them and sort them the way I want. So this is something that really, really helps. And I think this is a very, very important thing to kind of keep in mind. Now, the next thing is kind of obvious. Uh, once you have your folder categorization and subcategorization in line, it's also quite important to keep the document namings clear. So that kind of is a given, but it's a good idea to do that. So for example, um, if you have uh, documents and you have books, the organization I have is currently reading Red on Red and other. What I like to do is, of course, this one's fairly empty because I just got a device. I like to rename the books, author's name and then name of the book. Why would I contain both the author's name and the name of the book? Well, simply because if I'm looking for something, and let's say that I'm looking for a book from uh, Alexander Dumas, and then it will list out all of the books that I have from the current author, or anything like that. You can also do the same thing for uh, your notebook. So let's say that you're taking um, notes on class. You can name them, for example, uh, which year, which semester, which subject. And then you can actually just kind of search by semester, by year, by subject, by blah, 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 blah. And that I think can be a very, very helpful thing when organizing things like that. That's basically it, how I like to organize my uh, folder structure and what helps me keep my uh, remarkable, neat, tidy and very, very efficient to use. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye.